Hello creators and friends. I am back with part 8 of the ABC integration series. First sorry for the waiting time, but there was a couple of other work in my way. And also the site for the voiceover was down. But now the series is back. And what we do today, I show you now. Let's get started. In the last part, we covered all about the preparing category. Now we jump into the next one. The initiating. Once open, you will see they are mostly activated by default. Let's begin at the top. The first option is simple. It enables, or disables the initiation. Second option, is a bit special, and confusing to some people as well. Also myself, thought something different at beginning. So let me explain, what exactly this setting does. Firstly we have two different ways, how we can use it. As delay. Or as percentage. Both option have its own effect on what your result will look like at the end. Let's talk about the delay. The delay will give you the option to set a time. This time will start after your projectiles are created and gives time to load them. This is then useful when you have effects in use, what needs a bit of time to show up completely, or for charging effects. Percentage is a bit different. Here you affect the time of the animation and the entire ability, or ray casts. For example, you have an animation, that goes 1 second. And you have set at 50%, your ability starts casting, after a half second to initiate. In the next section, you can assign your animation clip. Once you assigned one, you also see under them, the time how long your clip is. This helps you find a good harmony, between delays or percentage. If you have a custom avatar, you want to use, you can then assign here. The three options under the mask, have also different results. The first one is basically useful, for all your normal abilities. What this does, is simple set it enables, the ABC animation, and makes sure your animation runs on it. Scroll ability, and, on weapon. This two options, you should only check if your assigned graphics, have its own animations already. Under them, you have in duration, what you hear said is the time, your animations plays. For that you have also and delay, and speed. Be sure to keep an eye, on the percentage, after you change their something. The last in this box is, if you have or own parameter created, you need to assign them here. Let's go to the right box. The first setting here, stops the movement on the caster, when your ability is on initiating. Is the duration on zero, then you can directly move after the initiating again. Set this value only, when you want a specific time for it. Freeze position, will stay on exact same place, and can move to any position. Disable components, disables the movement component during the initiating. Raise restrict movement event, will invoke the start, and stop movement event. When this duration is on zero, then invokes, the enable movement event. But after the animation. Now we come to one, of my favorite features of ABC. The move self option. This option, fakes root motion for you guys. This mean if you have animations that are only for in place. You can make your abilities movable, with faking them. Awesome. The next option allows you, to move to a specific target. If you don't use targets, then it will use automatically target or soft targets near to you. Last option here, requires an rigid body. It manipulates the gravity for you, for example on preparing, that you can float during and charge in the air. Before we go into the last section, let me say some words to this options on the left. That was a member request, so we do it. The parenting section you only need to create a list for your ability groups. It has no other effect. Here we have the unique ID, of your current ability. If you like working with ID instead of names. Is that the ID to call your abilities? Autocast, is for all people doing autoplay projects a perfect choice. This enables autofight. 
export you need to check, if you want to export as a template. Otherwise the ability is not available for export. And last setting here is changing your game type. For example if you made a mistake with import, you can change the game type here. So let's take a look on the last section in this category. This section contains anything about the graphics, tags, and if you use Game Creator, the action list as well. Main and subgraphic, you assign your particle systems. The subgraphic is only useful if your particle effect is holding two different effects you want to play on the same time. Down below you have important setting. The graphic position is where the graphic starts. The tag on the right is the point on your weapon your graphic appears. Duration and delays does exactly that this time what they need to do. Then you have offsets if you need little adjustments on positions is that a great place to edit them. And at last the game creator action list. Incredible powerful feature, because you can run really anything on it. For example my root motion action to manipulate it on in combo, or even run entire other systems, over the initiating action. There is absolutely no limit. And the best on this you don't need in trigger, because ABC triggers it already for you. Except you want your own of course. So this was it for part 8 my friends. I hope it helps a lot of you guys. In the next part we cover the ability end, and graphic to start, category. I try to bring it fast as possible. But I have a lot work myself too at the moment. So don't worry the series does not stop, a lot more is already planned. So enough talked thanks for watching, US Studio signing out.